Hello, my 10th grade champions, and welcome to your summary under 10 minute session with me. Now, a quick reminder before we get started if you're liking these sessions and finding them helpful, do leave a comment or like the video so that we know that you like these videos. All right, now I hope you're ready for your summary of Nelson Mandela Long Walk to Freedom. Let's get to it. So Nelson Mandela Long Walk to Freedom is an extract from the autobiography of Nelson Mandela that describes the struggle for freedom of black people in South Africa. On 10th May 1994, Nelson Mandela took the oath as South Africa's first black president after more than three centuries of white rule. Nelson Mandela assured his fellow countrymen that his country would never experience similar suppression by one group over another. While taking his vow as the first black president, he established democracy in the country and said there would be no discrimination of people irrespective of caste, colour, creed or race. He assured that the government would always treat all the people of the country with due respect and equality. He calls it a common victory for justice, for peace, for human dignity. He says that it has taken the sacrifice of thousands of courageous people to overturn the policy of apartheid. Now, apartheid was a political system in South Africa that separated people according to their race. So it discriminated against black people and white people, where white people had superiority and black people were treated unfairly. So the lovely day of inauguration was symbolic for Mandela as the South African people sang two national anthems. The vision of whites sang Nkosi Sikelel e Africa and black sang Die Stem, the old anthem of the Republic. All these events reminded Mandela how the black-skinned people were exploited by the white people earlier. He deeply felt the pain of his race and said that this type of suppression and racial domination of the white-skinned people against the dark-skinned people on their own land gave rise to one of the harshest and most inhumane societies of the world had ever seen. He strongly believed that no person is born to hate the other person on the basis of just skin colour, background or religion. He says that people must learn to hate initially because if they learn to hate, they can be taught to love as well. As love actually comes more naturally to humans than hate. He also mentioned how a person becomes brave, not because he does not feel afraid, but because he knows how to conquer his fears. Mandela also stated that every man has two major obligations in life. The first one being towards his family, that is parents, wife and children. And the second obligation towards his motherland, countrymen and community. These are the twin obligations. Everyone is able to fulfill those obligations according to their own interests and inclinations. However, it was difficult to fulfill both these obligations as a black man in a country like South Africa before the democratic wave took over the nation by storm. When Mandela became an adult, he realized that freedom was merely an illusion and temporary in nature for the black-skinned people of his country. According to Mandela, freedom was indivisible for all. But the people of his colour and race were bound in chains of oppression and tyranny. He knew that the oppressor must be liberated just like the oppressed because a person who snatches another's freedom is also a prisoner of similar oppression. Thus the oppressor is not free too and feels shackled in the chains of oppression himself. That brings us to the end of our summary. There is so much to learn because Nelson Mandela was such an inspirational person and you should read the entire autobiography whenever you get the time. Now, before I say goodbye to you, 
just a few reminders remember to like the sessions subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon because you see all of this that we come up with just to help you out all you need to do is subscribe and obviously like the sessions and press the bell icon like i just said now for those of you who want to become more confident english speakers here's a program for you like no other this is a one of a kind program created specifically to help you become more confident english speakers to make english come naturally to you you know you have the two teacher advantage you have cambridge certified teachers you have a curriculum that was developed by experts and you also have a discount going on right now so make use of this opportunity and check out byju spoken english classes link is in the description check out all the important playlists for you very neatly organized and subscribe to the channel to have access to all of this and much more all right see you next time bye bye